Hello everybody, it's Lego Jeffo, and I'm here to play a video game. This is the Lego Harry Potter Collection. There's two games on it. You got Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4, and Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 8. Um, this is the PC version. Now, this is supposed to be remastered. That's what they say. This was just released, like, on the 8th, or what, yesterday? As of the recording of this video, anyways, today's the 9th. So, this is the PC version. Now, this came out as digital to Xbox Series X, PS5, and PC. And I think Steam, well, same thing. But, that's it. You're not going to buy a remaster of this on disc unless uh, they decide oh we're making good money let's uh, try it but I just wanted to give it a try here I mean I've already got this game I've, I've got it a couple of different times I've got it on the PS3 both of them <laughs> both of them and I've also got uh, the remastered one well not the remastered but the one that has two the collection like this except it's not remastered for a couple other systems. Now, I don't think you can skip. So I don't see how this is remastered at all. Now I know in the remastered one they're going to uh, they're gonna have well it's supposed to have DLC and some other stuff. So if all they're saying is oh we gave you some DLC then that's fine. But looking at it I don't see remastered. Now I do have it set as bright as I can because my TV just tends to show it a little darker so I kind of you know make it brighter so I can see better but yeah you have to watch all this crap don't you you can't look at this I can't skip anything so I remember this came to like the Wii the PS3 the 360 I mean I have it on uh, PS3 I think the, the two games, and I also have it for uh, PS4 and Xbox or whatever, Xbox 360, I don't know. There's so many of them. But this does not look remastered at all. So if they're trying to say, oh, we upgraded the graphics or whatever, I, I don't think so. so. This is when they grunt and everything and pantomime everything. So, with something like this, it's fine, because if you've seen the movie, you know what's going on. But if, if it's an original story, like they did with the first Batman game, which was an original story for Lego, it's like, uh, how do you uh, know what's happening, you know? I mean, you could tell a lot in pantomime, but there's only so much you can do, you know? Yeah, so I do have the... I have the shadows turned off. Because I'm trying to do away with as much blackness on the screen because it just gets so dark. Now, I know it looks kind of odd. Can we please skip? Ugh. Yeah, most of this video is going to be me just sitting here eating my breakfast. The Leaky Cauldron. Oh, wow, I'm actually playing... I'm not going to play much. I just wanted to run it a little bit and see what what's new. Or but I can't punch. I can't punch. Okay, what is it? Press Y to switch to Hagrid. Okay, Hagrid punch? No. No, you can't punch. You can do stuff with your wand. Oh, look at this. Look at it. Come here. Come here, stupid. Okay, wait a minute. That was all. Press Y to retain control of other characters. I don't know. This is not one of my favorites, I'll tell you that. Okay, I'm trying to control... Hold B to control other characters. Okay, I can just pick them up. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, look. Do-do-do. Wow. 
It's like an old, it's like an old timey wheelchair. I gotta be honest, I played both these games, both Harry Potter games. I never finished either one of them. I played a bit, but I've never been huge into Harry Potter. I mean, my children, when they were young, they loved Harry Potter. I just never really got into it. And I think one of the problems I had was that my kids talked about it so much that I wasn't really too interested because there's an old saying, familiarity breeds contempt. And when you are so familiar with something, you get sick of hearing about it. It's like, okay, I get it. He's a wizard. Yay, Harry Potter. I mean, maybe I would have been more interested if my kids wouldn't have talked about it ad nauseum. They had to have the books. They had to have the games. They had to have the, the Blu-rays. I mean, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Okay, so what is happening? I don't even know what I'm doing. I really don't. Because I'm not even interested. Let's go back to Harry. Can I go anywhere? Can I do anything? Okay. I can't do... This is going to be a very short uh, playthrough. Because I'm not playing much. But I don't care. I don't care. I'm stuck there. I'm in a leaky cauldron. How about that, everybody? Can't go up there. Oh, I can break stuff a little bit. He tumbles into things? I'll tumble for you. Wow, this... Press... You, you, you need a bond handle to open the door. I don't even care at this point. Alright, change the stupid Hagrid. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. All right, all right. There goes stupid. There he goes. Now I can become Harry and come up here. Okay, let me guess. This is what I need, right? Can I walk off with it? Ah! Okay, gotta put the doorknob on here. Doorknob! There, I did it. Yay! Switch to Hagrid again. Can we go in? Wow, it's a seek. It's a speakeasy. They got like a secret stuff going on. Everything's magic in this. Everything. When they take a dump, it's magic toilet paper, and they magically flush it. <laughs> <laughs> well, next month, a new LEGO game is coming out. Not a remaster or anything, whatever this is, but it's LEGO Horizon Adventures. Okay, are you going to let me... Oh, what's that? No, what does I get? Part of, uh... oh, those are those crests, like Gryffindor and all this garbage. Yay, coins and a heart. Well, if you don't have this game on PC, you might as well get this one if it's got DLC or whatnot. But I don't notice any graphical differences. Look, he put a barrel on his head. Out of the way, stupid. Okay, how about putting this stuff here? What's that thing gonna do? Oh, I walk. Do I wear? Do I ride it? Yeah, you gotta be hairy. Oh, look! You can walk around and clean the street. Like I don't do enough cleaning at home. <laughs> okay, can Harry put the barrel on his head? Okay, get off, stupid. Okay. <laughs> Lou, did you? Look at him, look at him. Hello there, don't pay attention to me. It's just I, the barrel, walking down the street. Okay, you can tumble into things. Yeah. So this is what, Diagon Alley? Is that what this is called? I only know that because I've heard it so much from my children. I've never read a Harry Potter book. I've seen uh, all five movies. 
Oh, wait a minute. Five movies. That's five books, but it's eight movies, isn't it? Yeah, because some of the books are two movies each, right? So, or one of the... I don't know. I, I don't know. There's eight movies. The end. <laughs> I don't know what they're charging for this. I think on Steam it was like 40 bucks. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, what, what do we got here? Okay. Okay, can you destroy these things here? Okay, here we go. What is that? Oh, you can. Oh, he can't bounce up there. He's too. Uh, oh, he broke it. Look, look how fat he is. I hate fat people. Whoop. Did I say that? Okay. Okay, there we go. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, purple stud. Those are worth a lot. Is there anything up there? Boing, boing. Okay, come on. Boing, boing. Oh, nothing. So, typical Lego game. You know, except, uh... You use magic to do stuff. And you gotta get all those ingredients and all that. I'm not gonna really play this anymore. I've played it before. It's not one of my favorites for Lego games. If you don't like the property they're doing, the IP they're doing, whatever, you, know, you might not like the game, but if you like the way the Lego games are, you know, the, simpl the simplicity of it with a little light puzzle solving and you can just keep going if you die. It don't matter. Hey, pick it up. But it's an older game. I've already had it years ago. Had it for the Wii. Had it for the, uh, the PS3. Oh, yeah. But next month, I think it's, I want to say it's November 14th. They're going to have the new uh, Lego Horizon Adventures. You know what stinks about that? It's coming to Switch. It's coming to PS5. And it's coming to PC. That's it. No PS4. I know they're trying to phase out the PS4 and push the PS5 more. No Xbox Series X or One or whatever. They're, they're, they're not even going there. Why? It's a current system. Why can't they put it there? You know, it's not like they have another Xbox system out. It's the only one they're doing. At least PS, uh, PlayStation can say, Whoa, we do have a PS5. Let's go with that. I can see that argument. But why won't they go to Xbox? I don't know. But maybe someday it'll not be an exclusive. But by then, it won't matter. Because I'm going to have it for Switch. I'm going to get it for Switch. Um, eventually you're going to get a newer TV that has enough HDMI's on the back so I can have a couple of things hooked up, plus my Switch. Lately I've been playing Switch in handheld mode, and I prefer it on the big TV. You know, you got a big size TV, you got like a 40, 50 inch TV, you want to see it on the big screen. You don't want to... That's only good if you're out and about at the doctor's office, you can sit there and play a game, whatever. Or you go to some boring relative's house <laughs> and you bring your system. Because you don't want to interact with your relatives. No, no, I'm kidding. But, okay, let's see. How long has this been going? Oh, 14 minutes just now. All right, well, 14 minutes. Most of us sitting here just waiting for the stupid levels to load, watching a video. If I wanted to watch a video, I'd put it in the Harry Potter movie. I wouldn't play the game. It should allow you to skip it if you want to. But that's how it is with these games. So, anyways, it's Lego Jeffo saying see you kitties later.